Hello and welcome students create Office 365 user on the practice labs environment and here in this video the task and the topic is simple that we are going to show you how to create Office 365 user but before starting this lab you should know that you're going to use your trial account that you created by following our lab guide and also do not install the Office 365 products in your personal machine so you should use the practice lab environment to install these products and application in case if if your machine start malfunctioning so it's not our responsibility so this thing should be mentioned and discussed in the beginning of this video so let's move towards the practice labs platform where we're going to explore the document and we're going to perform each step according to the manual but before that, let me show you the manual so you will have the idea that where to start and what are the steps you need to take. So this is your manual of this specific project. And here's the objective is mentioned and some notes for you. So try to read those notes and this go with the details that is provided here and all the screenshot or attached along each step so it would be easy for you guys to perform accordingly and if you missed anything so you can see the screenshot whether you're getting the same responses or same screen or not so that is really helping and user friendly documents that we are creating for you students so now let's move to the p labs the practice lab platform and here in this specific video we're going to need just p lab win 10 but you know in the sandbox we always have all the machines so you you should just turn on p lab win 10 and start performing the steps so let's move to the practice lab platform now here on the p lab win 10 machine first we're going to launch the Microsoft edge which is here and then we're going to type the portal the office 65 portal address the web address and you can also copy the portal web address and then paste here in the clipboard and you can simply click to the menu click to the clipboard and you can paste the whole web address here and then use the control v here on the address bar to directly log on to that page but here instead we're going to type the portal the whole web link of the portal and which is simple portal dot let me select the web bar portal dot office dot com enter and it can redirect us here now here it, it, at this moment you all have your trial account so we're going to log on with our trial account and we are using the same trial account why because when you will have this manual and you start performing those labs you will have the trial account so by making the situation same and in case if if anything goes different with the permanent account so that's why we're using the trial account so everything will look the same when you will watch the video and you perform on your own so let me start from here and there I'm gonna type JSS DMV3 at the risk GSS and then this is our trial account so let me log in now there you go we are successfully login to our portal.office.com so this is our office to see portal and here right when you see the screen this dashboard let's hover your mouse on the left top corner and click to the app launcher and there you're gonna find the admin button and you will click and it will redirect you to the new page and sometimes you will have this you will get this security alert so we can disable this but this is another part and this will be another lab for you guys so right now we are not messing with this just click to skip for now and proceed now here's our admin center the office 265 admin center and from this admin center we can have different features and we can utilize the office 65 products and its 
its vast number of different offerings and we can mold this of 55 as per our need and this is the part of other coming advanced videos now as for this video we need to create a basic simple user so let's click to this navigation menu and here you will click to the user and then we're going to click to active user and then it will start showing the list of the user so right now it's a trial account so we all we have this sim this single account here so let's click to add a user and it will navigate us to this visit and here we're going to provide the first name so you can follow the document and you can follow the names we, we, we use in the document but here let me use some testing name type of aliases so it's test like GSS and test GSS and I'm going to make the username TJSS and right here in this moment if you remove the check from automatically create a password so it will provide you the chance to set the password right from the beginning or you can go with automatically create a password so it will create a random password but it is sure that this password is more secure because sometimes we create some less secure passwords so for initializing the account it would be good if you go with the automatic create a password and if you would leave the check here require this user to change the password once when they first sign in so that's good once the user log in to this account so it will be asked by the user to change the password so it's not a big deal now let's click next here and move to this products product option so here right now we have as for the trial account we have this microsoft 365 business standard but if you have multiple licenses like the office 65 e5 and other office 65 huge and more market compatible licenses so you will find all the licenses here under this assigned user product licenses and you will see the list so it's up to you while creating the user which license you think that you want to provide to that specific user so right now we have only this one so we are proceeding with that and here if you expand this app option so you will find that this specific license is applied on all these mentioned apps now let's click next and here this is the optional setting and we're going to need this part in the coming advanced videos so we're going to skip this setting right now and click next and here in review and finish so there is another chance for you if you want to edit any of the detail and still after creating the user you always have a chance to edit things so it's not the end of editing or creating now let's click click to finish adding and in a while it will add this new user to the list and it created a random password which you can copy and note it down somewhere and you can also copy the whole detail from here and paste in the email and send to the HR and you know the HR will send the details to that new specific user from who you are creating this account so it's up to you you can note it down or you can send it directly to the HR to the manager of the new user that is just joined your environment your organization so here let's click close and here under the active user you you'll start seeing this new user that is just a part of your office 365 environment and there are a lot of options and settings that we are going to explore in the next coming video so that's it for this task and this project 